Hey everyone, I've decided to return to YouTube. Um, I've just noticed on one of my videos that I have been getting a ton of comments of girls stating how much it has helped them. And that video would be my first one titled My Life as a Full-Time Webcam Model or Webcam Girl, something like that. Anyways, that video is approaching, approaching 70,000 views, which I think is crazy because that is the first video I ever made. I just sat down with my phone and I recorded my experience as a webcam model and that video has acted as a inspiration for a lot of people and motivation and also it has helped them learn about the business that I'm in. I want to make this video um, because I have found a new and better way to make money in this industry and that is becoming an OnlyFans model. So I quit webcaming in 2020 and that is whenever I went full-time on OnlyFans. I have made half a million dollars on OnlyFans and I I have a lot of things that I feel like I can teach. Hey, so um, I was editing this video and it just hit me that I forgot to actually put in the proof of my income. So as you can see here, um, this is my main OnlyFans page and it has showed how much I've made before and after OnlyFans has taken their cut. And here is my second page, which acts as a teaser page. And as you can see, uh, with the two pages added up, I have made over half a million dollars. Before I start, I want to make two points that you need to realize before you start OnlyFans, if you're watching this wanting to start OnlyFans. Um, the two things are one, you cannot care who finds out because there's always the chance that somebody's gonna find out. And for me, my grandma knows that I do OnlyFans and she does not like it, but she respects me and it is what it is and I'm willing to accept that. Um, somebody always told me that if you can't accept the worst case scenario playing out, don't do it. And I think that you need to think about that here. If you can't accept like your, you know, husband or your mom or whoever finding out, then you probably shouldn't do it. And yeah, that's just something I think is important because there's a ton of ways to make money and why pick something that you're going to be ashamed of. So my second point is that I think that, okay, so a lot of people message me or people that I know in real life and they're like, oh, I wanna make money like you do. I wanna be on OnlyFans, but I don't think that I'm young enough. I don't think that I'm pretty enough. I don't think that I'm skinny enough or whatever. Guys have a lot of different types. Um, girls are often really hard on themselves and they see a certain type of model or something and they're like oh that's what beauty is guys like i said have all kinds of different types they they like different ages they like different sizes and i think it's cool to say that i've made half a million dollars on there but i know girls that a lot of girls actually that have made way way more than me and they are different sizes and ages than me some are older some are in their 40s uh, some, you know, are thicker and that's okay. Like, it's totally fine. Anybody can do it. It's not so much about what's on the outside, but it's about what's on the inside. And that means that what really matters is how hardworking you are, how determined you are, how confident you are. And yeah, I think that that is basically what it takes. So, now, um... I'm going to go ahead and say that I think that the number one thing that you need to focus on if you want to grow your OnlyFans is advertising. A lot of people think since I was a webcam model for so long that I'm only popular on OnlyFans because I already had a following. And a lot of people don't realize that I actually did not get that many followers on OnlyFans from my webcam following and from the people who knew me from webcam. It's the sad truth. I thought a lot of people would follow me over there, but really most of the people that I have on there are people who know me from my advertising rather than from what I did before OnlyFans. So...
whenever I say you need to focus most on advertising, um, I say that because whenever I started OnlyFans, I focused most on doing these creative professional, I mean, they weren't super professional, but I tried to be professional. You know, I did all this editing and tried to really make my OnlyFans content like just amazing. But I quickly realized that I could get more likes from just posting a mirror selfie. I even did a poll on my OnlyFans and so have several other OnlyFans models specifically asking the fans, do you like better my professional looking content or my amateur, like just regular pictures, like selfies and stuff. And like, whenever we do these polls, it's usually 80 to 90% of our followers actually like the really easy selfies and mirror shots. So that's kind of cool if you think about it because that makes it really easy to create content on OnlyFans. And that's also great because like I said, you need to focus most of your energy on advertising rather than posting all this like professional quality stuff. And like I said, all this is just my experience. I can only give you my experience, but I will say that I am really well networked with other models and we have all found similar uh, patterns or things. Uh, so yeah, I think you can definitely do well by making professional content, but like I said, I'm just gonna give you what I think is gonna help you the most. So, as far as advertising goes, I think that you should, okay, let's just say you're first starting out and you have zero followers. Well, you can't like trade shout outs with other models, which is one way that we advertise because you have zero followers and usually if you trade a shout out with a model they want you to have a similar amount of followers so i think the top two things you can do in the very very beginning are one pay for advertising and that that's not the best way though the best thing i think you can do when you're first starting out is create social media so a lot of girls whenever i tell them this they're like well you know, I don't really want to put myself out on blast like that. What if my family member finds out or I'm too embarrassed? And that's why I said at the beginning that I personally think that you need to be confident, not care who finds out, and you'll probably do better. But, you know, there are some people that are able to not have social media that do well, but it's very, very much harder. So... Let's see, uh, as far as social media goes, the best social media is Instagram. And the best thing to do on Instagram is to post consistently, post Instagram reels. And also it helps to go live with other models. But when you're first starting, this is just what I would do. If I was starting from scratch, from zero, I would get on Instagram and I would start making Instagram reels every single day. I would also make a TikTok account and I would make TikToks every single day, as many as I could a day. And I would also make a Reddit and I would post to subreddits every day. I would also repost the TikToks to Clapper. I would, let's see, um, Twitter. Twitter definitely helps, but Twitter's not the best. I'm gonna be honest, but it helps. So. Instagram, I think, is number one, TikTok number two, Reddit number three, and Clapper. I don't, I'm still experimenting with Clapper because I'm new on there, so I'm not really sure where it fits. But from my experience, this is what works. Make as many as you can every day. Now, what kind of content should you make? What kind of reels and TikTok should you make? I think personally, you should stay safe because. You don't want to get deleted over something and have all of your following taken away just like that. That sucks. So I would suggest keeping it safe. Like, I think you can be safe, but still be hot. And I think that there is definitely a balance, you know. Um, don't be sexual. Don't tell people to go join your OnlyFans on there. You have to be really sneaky about it. But... Honestly, people will search it out. 
and there are ways to actually get around from you know not to prevent getting banned while being able to promote your OnlyFans on these sites. So I would suggest making cute clips that, you know, stuff that's cute, wear cute outfits, but not too sexual, don't show too much. Um, make jokes, try to be funny, make, uh, look confident on there. That's, that's what I do. And if you guys would like, you can actually go and look at my TikTok and Instagram right now and just see what kind of stuff I post just to get an idea. So that's what I would do. And one thing that I do is I have three Instagram accounts. One of them um, is actually taken down right now. And I'm not sure why because I feel like I was really safe on there. But I am appealing it. So we'll see. But, you know, that, that just goes to show, you know, you should definitely try to be as safe as possible. So if you want to go to my accounts and see what kind of content I post, it's actually kind of funny. My best performing reel almost has a million views now and I'm wearing a sweater in it and I am not showing my skin at all. And that has gotten so many eyes on my page. So that helps a ton. But yeah, that's what I would suggest doing if I were you. That's that's what helps me the most get people in. I recently started really making a lot of content on TikTok and Instagram last month and I can tell a huge increase in traffic onto my page and whenever you start getting more traffic on your page, you can, if you want to, you can do shout for shout with other models. I don't really do it a lot because I find that getting traffic on social from social media is better and whenever you do shout for shout with other models like basically you shout them out on your only fans and they shout you out on theirs it is kind of spammy to your fans so i i would suggest if you do that try to shout for shout with somebody that has the same aesthetic as you so your fans will enjoy looking at them because your fans probably have a type that they like so i would suggest doing that um so also with shout for shout, if if you do a shout for shout with a girl, chances are she probably does shout for shout a lot on OnlyFans. So there's probably other girls posted on her page, so you're not going to stand out as much. And her users are probably used to seeing a lot of other girls. So that really isn't good for attracting new people onto your page that really just want to see you as much as social media is for that. So that's why I just like over and over suggest social media and just to try to play it safe there and just, you know, be strategic with your content. So let me think. I'm trying to think of what else has really helped me. Okay, so this is so, so important. Networking. So, so important. So I used to get fans by doing free trials to my page because that gets like kind of their foot in the door so that they can see if they like your page. And if you have a quality page, they might subscribe. That worked so well for me until every model started doing free trials. And it got to the point where it was so oversaturated that uh, OnlyFans uh, user would have like a hundred free trials of different girls and you wouldn't stand out at all. And the guys on the site got so used to free trials that they didn't really want to pay for content anymore. And they really didn't value you as much. The free trial of people just got to be really awful. They were awful to talk to. They were just not fun. So free trials quit working. So at that point, us models had to figure out what to do to get our traffic back up. And so this is when networking with other models becomes essential because what I did was I would reach out to models that I saw doing really well and I'd be like, how are you getting traffic? What are you doing? And whenever you reach out to models, a lot of the times they're probably going to ignore you and just don't let it bother you. But you really, really need to create relationships with other models so that you can help each other because OnlyFans would not be where it is today if us models didn't work together to grow our businesses to, to make as much as we do on there. So I would ask around, I'd be like, how are you getting doing so well on there? And they would say TikToks 
and Instagram reels and just social media in general, a Reddit, you know. And so that's whenever I really started taking social media even more seriously. And another thing that I learned from networking with other models is that going live on Instagram with other models can really help you get a lot more followers on your social media. So that's something to consider. So if you do not have a telegram, I would suggest if you wanna do this business, you have to have a telegram because that's where all the models communicate. So if you want, if you use my referral link, I will actually, you can message me on Twitter. I have my DMs open and just say, hey, I used your referral link. And I will add you to a bunch of model groups on Telegram to get you started. So you can start making these relationships and, and helping other models and having them help you because the OnlyFans market is always changing. There's always different things we can do to grow. And, and it's really, really helps to be able to ask around and see what's working for other models and work together by doing these shout outs and stuff for each other. And just overall, you really need to stick together in this industry. I wouldn't be where I was today if it wasn't for other models helping me out. So um, I think that on Instagram, once you start getting followers from your reels, I think that what you need to do or what you could do, what, uh, this is what I do. I actually do shout for shout on Instagram. Now, when you do shout for shout on OnlyFans, it's different because people are paying to be there. And when you pay for something, you don't want a lot of spam, right? But Instagram is free. It's free for them to follow you on Instagram. So it's not as big of a deal to do shout for shout on Instagram. So I actually do shout for shout in my Instagram stories with other girls every day. So basically what you do is you go to a girl's page with a similar following to you and you say SFS or S4S that you message them. And then if they know what you're talking about, they will message you back a photo of themselves and their tag, like their at, basically their username. So, and then you send them yours. And all you do is copy and paste that to your story and bam, you shout each other out. So you start growing relationships through Instagram as well by figuring out who to shout for shout with, who will return your shout for shout, who likes doing it with you, who you shout for shout with that brings you a lot of fans or a lot of followers rather. So yeah, those are the top things that really help me. Um, I think that the third thing is really just work ethic. So I personally, I don't play video games. I don't watch TV. I don't, I like never watch movies. I am constantly working. And I know like for some people that's not a lifestyle that they want, but I really truly enjoy being my own boss. I enjoy working. I think that it's addicting. Like you can be addicted to a lot of things. You can be addicted to video games and TV and and your phone and, but for me, I become addicted to work and I think that that is one reason why I am successful because whenever I wake up, I just start working and basically do that until I go to bed. I will spend time with my family, but I do sacrifice a lot of time with my family to work and that's just because I want to retire. Sorry, I'm recording on my phone and my battery started dying, so I had it paused it. But anyways, as I was saying, for me, I don't mind sacrificing the time. I I love working. So if if you know you want to be super successful, I think that that is vital to be really determined and to work all the time. Like <laughs> At, that's just me like I'm constantly researching making content um, I'm also build I have other businesses besides OnlyFans like um, that I, I could actually go into all the ways I make money in another video if you guys want to know that but I'm the type of person that just really wants to work all the time and I love it and if that's your personality then you're probably gonna do super well and I think that you need to be patient uh, because whenever you're first first starting out growth can be slow and 
I've actually like for free just helped a lot of my friends or models that have reached out to me. I've tried to help them start OnlyFans and they usually quit. So which sucks because you know, I, I just want everybody to succeed, but they usually quit. They usually aren't willing to put in the time and effort. They don't realize that it actually is really hard work. So yeah, I think that you just gotta be really, really determined. I actually, I have a friend that I met from my first YouTube video. She reached out to me and she was like, I wanna do what you do. Like your video gave me hope. And now she's like one of my top best friends. And she has taken all my advice and she's worked so hard and she is full time in this industry now. And I just, you know, it makes me so happy to know that I've helped somebody and I made such a great friend. And that's one reason why I want to keep making these videos because the things like that have inspired me. But, um, when I guess another thing I'll say is that, yes, I focus a lot on advertising, but I do give my fans content. I make new content every month. I post pictures on there every single day. I post usually between two to five pictures a day. Um, I used to post every hour. I tried that for a while because I saw some top models doing that. And the thing is, is it takes a lot of time. You only have so much time in a day. If you want to post every hour, that's great. It makes people look at your page more and remember you more. It makes them come back to your page if they're thinking like they know they can expect another picture every hour. So I think that's great. But you need to figure out a balance with your time. Um, if, if posting a picture every single hour takes away from your advertising and getting growing your page by getting new fans, then maybe you need to cut back on how much content you're posting on your actual page. So you'll figure out a balance that works for you. Um, if you're running another business or if you have children or something, maybe you can't post every hour and make reels and everything. So like I said, you just need to figure out what works. It takes trial and error. So yeah, I will say that. So um, I'm trying to think of anything else that can help before I go. Um, I think that it's important to message your fans and I think it's important to incentivize getting them on rebuild. And one way that I do that is I offer a free video, a free brand new video every single month to everybody on rebuild on the last day of the month. That's helped get my rebuild up. I think if you end up doing something like that, you need to promote that and let them know days in advance uh, just so that they can prepare for that and get on rebuild to expect that free content. I think that even if you just send everybody on Rebuild a voice note or a picture, anything that just makes them feel like you're thinking of them and you appreciate them, that really helps to, to keep people on Rebuild because you don't want to just worry about getting new fans. You want to worry about keeping fans. So that means posting good content on your page every single day. That means uh, re responding to your fans. And that means creating incentives for them to actually be on rebuild. So that's how I run my page. It's worked out really well for me. There's all kinds of different OnlyFans business models. And that's just personally what has worked the best for me. And I really enjoy it. I, I like incentivizing rebuild uh, because some girls, for instance, will make most of their money from custom videos or from um, spending time doing one-on-one -on -one messaging all day. But that takes a lot of time uh, out of your day and it makes it hard to actually uh, like focus on other things. Like I do like to spend time with my family and I do like to try to build other businesses. So I like to give myself some extra time to do some of those things. So. Yeah, it's up to you. I like the re I I like the business model that incentivizes rebuild and that that makes the most money from subscriptions. As you can see in my income at the beginning of this video, most of my income on my main page comes from rebuild and subscriptions. And for me, that's just the way I like it. I think that it's passive. Um 
that's just the way I do it. I find that the easiest. So yeah, of course, if you want to network with other models and really find out all the different business models, you can do that. They offer coaching and guidance in all these different business models. But yeah, that's just what works best for me. So I do hope that this video helped you and I have my referral link and my social media down below. If you wanna see me post any more videos like this, just comment and let me know. Um, my Twitter DMs are open to anybody that uses my referral link. If if it gets to be like, I'm gonna be honest, like if if a lot of people use my referral link and I get too many messages and I help people and people don't actually follow through, I I may not like respond to all of the referrals forever. Um, I don't want to say that I'm going to and then not and disappoint somebody. I, I want to be honest. It, I don't know how if this video is going to get a ton of views or just a few views. So I definitely want to be honest about that. But I will try my best. And so it doesn't hurt to try, you know, to message me. If you want to use my referral link, just try to message me. And I'm probably going to see it. And I'm honestly probably going to end up responding to you. So yeah, that's everything. And I hope that you have a good day. <laughs>